Guys, what's up? Uh, so I got this video for you now. <clears throat> Amazon came out with the second generation Fire TV stick. Um, it now comes with a voice remote, Alexa included. It also, I know you won't be able to see, has four quads, meaning that it has quad core, meaning that it has the same amount of processing power as the Amazon 4K Fire TV box. Uh, the major difference <clears throat> is obviously you can't watch 4K through the stick. So if you don't have a 4K TV and that's not a big deal, then yeah, this is going to work perfect. Um, I want to show you the integrations that you do get. <clears throat> um, it's the same as having like an Echo or an Echo Dot. Um, if you just press this little speaker button, you get Alexa. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 12.26 p.m. Um, and then if you have smart home integration, I have a thermostat, some light bulbs and stuff. Um, and if you're into that, you will actually be able to control that stuff with your Fire TV stick remote if you choose to. Let me show you. Alexa, set thermostat to 70 degrees. Setting thermostat heat to 70. Turn on kitchen lights. Okay. So if you're into that kind of stuff, um, you're actually going to be able to do it with your Fire Stick remote because with the new software, excuse me guys, with the new software, they put Alexa in there to control your smart home. Anyways, you can keep the default account that's here or you can deregister it and set up your own Amazon so that way everything's personal like so you can control your house and yada yada. But <clears throat> other than Alexa being an upgrade, um, you get Cody. So once you open up Cody, this is a simple build um, made from the little guys, as you can see, it's real clean, it's real easy. As soon as you start it, it does an automatic cache clear. Um, it'll, it'll purge packages, which I know most of you guys don't know, but it does it automatically every time you turn it on. So if you watch a lot of stuff and then you exit this and you turn it back on, it's gonna clean all that out for you so you don't have to go and do it yourself. There is an option to do it yourself, but there's no need for you to do it any longer. So when you open up, this is what you'll get. TV shows, movies, kids zone, sports, music, live TV, yada, yada, yada. So let's start. Movies. If when I mean, people always want to know about in theaters. As you can see right here, it says movies. If you press down, it'll go straight to in theaters right there, most popular, and then it'll have genres here, action. Um, these are the two most popular uh, add-ons, would be Exodus here and Spectofort, but there's a ton of other stuff for you guys to watch movies. Um, so if you get into something like Exodus, you click it, and you click movies. And then you can click year, in theaters, everything like that. Um, from 2016 to 1962 are the, the wide range of movies. Um, you click one, you let it load, you go through and you say, oh, what do I want to watch? Oh, let's watch Suicide Squad. Now I'll show you Suicide Squad. I know that movie came out in, I believe, August. And then I'll pick another movie that's more recent so that you can see. Now, not all movies in theaters or in 2016 um, are gonna be perfect 1080p. A good portion of them are. There's some that are going to be 720 and some that are going to be 540. And then the ones that just came out, there's a good possibility it's just going to be a cam in the theater and, and it sucks. So don't get your hopes up that you can watch every movie that comes out in theaters at home because that's not a reality. But you can watch 60 to 65% of the movies that are in theaters at your house, no problem. So you come here and it tells you right there, there's a 1080p version, there's an HD version. I'm going to show you an HD version just to show you that even if you don't get a 1080p how good the picture is going to be. You can fast forward. It tells you right there that it's in 720p. Um, obviously it tells you how long the movie left. Everything gives you a little picture of what it is. You can fast forward and rewind. You get no buffering issues. The new stick handles it just great. Quality is great, like I said. I mean, there's not much more you can ask for. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. <laughs> Let's find a newer movie back out. Um, you'll go to, let's say, Don't Breathe. I know that's a little newer. <clears throat> we'll load that up. I'm going to try to go through this quick because there's a lot of stuff to cover in this new build. Um, and I don't think I'm going to have time because I've already spent four minutes. But we'll see. So uh, this is a newer one. Obviously, let's see what quality you get for this. It takes a few seconds. It takes anywhere from 10 to 32 seconds or something. Um, let it load. So it's obviously, it's in 1080p as well. Like I said, I don't know exactly when this came out. I think last month maybe, or early this month. As you can see down there, it's 1080p. You can fast forward. No problem, no buffering. Oh, guy's dead. 
<laughs> anyway, so, I mean, you've got a ton of options. Um, like I said, and this is just 2016. I mean, obviously, you can go down to any of these years and watch movies if you're older. Um, you know, when you were a kid, the 80s had a bunch of great movies. I'll show you real quick and then get on to it. Back to the Future, The Goonies, Breakfast Club. All these stuff are there um, for you guys to explore and watch. And they all work. They all work really well. Um, so you have all those option, <coughs> options. TV shows, same thing. Um, I'll go to Popular. You guys can scroll through the rest of that stuff in there. Um, if you want to look through all those add-ons. The Walking Dead, The Flash. We'll go to Walking Dead. I knew there was a newer one that just came out. Every season from season one to the newest one are on here. You don't have to miss anything. You can binge watch them. You can catch up. Um, like I said, you could just have a Cody and chill and, uh, <clears throat> you know, just enjoy your shows. So you pick one. If the first one doesn't work, it goes to the next one automatically. Um, but usually the first one's a good one. So this is brand new. So if you haven't watched the, the one that just happened a week ago or something, uh, you can see it's in 720, no buffering, no issues like that. So I don't want to spoil that for people who enjoy that show. Every show, every episode, you can think of is on here. This is just the most popular, Narcos. People love that show. Big Bang Theory, obviously. Supergirl, Shameless. It doesn't matter if it's HBO, Fox. doesn't matter. You can search by the network if you don't know what the show is. But um, And then there's a ton more stuff for you just in case there's not enough TV shows in that one option for you. Um, other than TV shows, you got The Kids Zone. Now, a lot of people ask for this back. We used to have it a long time ago. This is, this is great. <clears throat> you can come into Kid Zone, and if your kids want to watch Disney XD, whatever's on Disney XD live right now, um, it, it's going to load whatever's on Disney XD right now for you. You can load it up. It's live TV, so there's no fast forward or nothing, but you get Disney XD, no problem. Uh, don't worry about the name, it's just the, the developers who, who've made that. Um, the same thing with, okay, so the Cartoon Network and Disney Channel here will have a list of shows from that network. So here's Cartoon Network. My daughter loves it. Um, yeah, here's Teen Titans Go. Any of these shows from it, season one, season four, from Cartoon Network are on here. Um, and you just pick one. You let it load up just like the movies and TV shows. And then, uh, you know, it'll load. Okay, that one comes out today, so that one's not going to load. Uh, this one's going to load here. Like I said, not everything loads perfect, but you can see you just go back and pick the one right before it and... There you go, and you can fast forward to Teen Titans Go. It's in 720p, so for kids like Cartoon Network, or if they like um, Disney Channel, let's see, oops. Here's the Disney Channel options, they're in here as well. Let it load, it's my fault. Uh, and here goes all the stuff, you know, Descendants, Wicked World, my daughter loves that stuff. Um, so the kids zone is great, and like, so you got all this stuff up here. Sports. You guys know, there's this, all this stuff for the sports. Um, there will actually be an HD version included for you for free. I'll put on another video if you guys really want to see. But as soon as you click the word sports, it'll come up. Everything will be in HD, even pay-per-views. Um, music, very cool feature. Uh, tons of music. You can go to Vivo. Uh, you can go to favorite artists. Okay, you can go to genre. Sorry. That, um, go to hip-hop or pop or country. Pick someone. Here's Drake. Uh... It tells you what it was on. Uh, let's go to work here. It tells you if it's HD right here. It's the full video. So, I mean, there's a ton of stuff here for you to watch and stream. And, it's, and that's just the music. Um, live TV's on here as well. Um, there's a ton for you guys to choose through. Uh, TV Guide's in integration, so be patient on that. Uh, what is this? Let's go to C-Cloud. Uh, let's go to English. I mean, you can go to any of these you want, sports, whatever you guys want. Um, let's go to Discovery. See a check mark, so obviously someone's checked it out. And here's Discovery right here. Uh, ABC News. There's news on here as well. Uh, there's news channels on the live TV. They're a work in progress, so you know just be patient with that. If you guys would, if you see down here, local news. The worldwide news works pretty well. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, that's that's everything. That's what you get. Um, it's clean. I mean, there's a ton of add-ons for you guys to go through. But you know what I mean. You guys want to watch it? It's going to be on here for you to watch. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.